Hey guys, this is What If here. I just want to make this quick video just to kind of get my thoughts out on uh, what I think about the, the new uh, format that NASCAR has, because I think uh, a couple weeks ago they announced uh, there was going to be a different format and how the races are done, and basically uh, to boil it down, it, I guess to sum it up pretty quickly, um, it's such a convoluted, confusing goddamn mess. I don't even know how the fuck to even begin to explain it. Like, it's... I feel so defeated just trying to explain it because it, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, you have to get a pen and paper, write it all down, and, and make sure you get all the numbers and stuff right. And it's just, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, there could be scenarios. Oh, well, let me, let me break it down as simply as simple as I freaking can. So basically, there's three segments. And at the end of each segment, you get awarded a certain amount of points. And at the end of the race, you get rewarded the normal points, like 40, 39, 38, that stuff. And then uh, the bonus points and stuff will get added on. But, um... There will be uh, basically two segments where the caution is thrown out, which I fucking hate. I think it's stupid. Because before in the past, they used to do their stupid, you know, phantom debris cautions. And in their eyes, that's a legit caution. But here, this is clear cut, like black and white, clear as crystal, that it's just, it is a caution. And they're just going to throw it out. And to me, it always, it just comes off as like, at, like as if these drivers cannot handle doing long runs or people just have such a shitty attention span that they don't want that. And it's just, it, it's so depressing because, like, the era of traditional racing, at least in NASCAR, in terms of just, you know, racing the race and not having it being broken up is dead. Like, it's because I got on their NASCAR Facebook page, they had, like, a Daytona picture, and it's like, you know, we were, you know we enjoy and respect tradition, or they're showing about, like, tradition for Daytona races. It's like, what tradition? You fucking destroyed it because you broke the race in the segment, something that that was never done in this in the you know the, in the monster energy cup series ever like so it's stupid but um it's just i just don't think it's needed i the and also there could be scenarios where you know the winner could just maybe win that race and only get a few extra bonus points from the segments and then basically what will happen in some cases like the guy in second or third could have way more points than the actual winner itself that's where it becomes a little bit fucking stupid in my eyes, because even back in the day, um, when you used to get bonus points and stuff, it would boost you up a, a, like maybe like a spot or two. But here, this could boost it up so much more, and it's I don't know. And also another thing I was just thinking is like, this kind of like what's the point of having an all-star race? Because the all-star race has always been formatted to have segmented races. That was the thing. But if these uh, races now are all going to be segmented races, then what's, what's so special about the All-Star Race now? There's no point. Like, it devalues the All-Star Race even more now. i never seen anybody bring up that point, but it does devalue it quite a bit when, that, when every race is just segments. And also, it's even worse for the other series because the races are much smaller, so then you only get, like, maybe 20 laps in. And uh, there, there's going to be so many just dumb scenarios... It, it's kind of like the caution clock, but it's not called the caution clock because there will be times where if they're doing a run, they're near the end, and people are very low on fuel, and they can't pit. People are going to be randomly running out of fuel and all this kind of stuff. It's stupid. Like, it happened in the truck series last season. And I just see this causing too many problems and everything. The only thing, the only thing that is kind of cool about it is that it makes the regular season matter a bit more because the normal points from those segmented races carry on. That I do like, because when you move on to the next round and stuff, all those bonus points you got from the regular season will carry on. I do hate the aspect of getting your own trophy for being the regular season champion. It's like, to me, it comes off as like a fake trophy. Like, why? It, I just don't think that's needed. Because it's like a pretend fake trophy. It's like, oh, here's your kind of sort of trophy. Like, I, I don't even think this should have been that in the in the first place like it's that's that is fucking retarded the segments is also really stupid just how it's being uh, formatted and also they just threw in another stupid rule where you know if you have damage on the car and if you don't have enough time to repair in like what five minutes you basically have to park it for the day and it's it that's shit stupid because like how many cars are we gonna have left at the end of bristol races or Martinsville races or richmond races daytona talladega races like we're gonna be down down to like the single digits, at least. If they're, if they're gonna seriously stick by this, then it's fucking stupid. 
gone are the days when you know Junior can win a Talladega race in L3 with a beat up car. Or, you know, gone are the days when you know Kurt Busch could wreck like three, four times at uh, Talladega and still be competitive and stuff in 2009. If anybody remembers that race in the fall, but uh, or in 2010 where Kurt Busch wrecked and stuff and in the uh, Pepsi or Coke Zero 400 and and kept going. Like gone are those days when drivers can you know make a comeback like that. Gone, it's all fucking dead. Like. I, I, the argument is that like, oh, you know, we, we don't want to see cars running around and causing debris cautions, but it's like, to me, I never really saw that as such a drastic issue. Like, it, to, if anything, this will make matters worse because they're going to be rushing to, to patch up a car so fast that debris will happen more likely and everything. So, I don't know, that, the whole argument of it being like, you know, that cars like that shouldn't be on the track and stuff, it's like, well, then what's the point of being there? Like, if your car's too much damage, then, like, what? Fuck the crew? Like, don't even bother? Like, it's just, it's taking normal traditions that NASCAR has had, like, you know, you know, never giving up, you know, keep going and all this sort of shit where, you know, if you have a beat-up car, you try to make the best out of it. Like, Jimmy Johnson in Texas in 2009, when he wrecked, they patch up the car and they got it going and they salvage a few more extra points. But it's like, if they're doing that then, then Jimmy would have parked it and that would have been it for his day and the crew wouldn't have couldn't have done anything about it. like I, I feel like this is going to cause way too many issues and everything like that and just watching a series is just so depressing because it's just it's such a this is so many this is way too many changes in a regular off season now they're making the, the bush clashes and everything not the bush class the gatorade duels or whatever the fuck they call it now uh they're making those into points races and everything as well and i mean that's i don't know I just don't, I, I don't understand, like, the point, like, I get it, they want the drivers to race more, but the Gatorade duels aren't really for, I mean, it's just mainly to improve your position in the 500, and also to help, you know, the lower-funded guys or anything to make their way in, like, it, they're, that's, that was never the whole intention of it, it was just more of just having a better starting grid than what you had, so, in a sense, you could race much harder, that, it, it's a fucking mess, it, I don't even know what I, it's so it's so dumb. I just don't even know what more to add, and it's just it's such a it's just a fucking mess. And the stupid formats and how their points stand, how they're doing the points and all this stuff and and everything. And uh, it, this is this is gonna alienate so many casuals. I feel like this is not something you know to explain to someone. Like how the fuck are you gonna you know explain to someone that hasn't watched NASCAR like how the how these points work? Because you have to basically write them a goddamn like you know novel about it. Or at least, you know, a very long explanation. Like, poor Griff Dog had to explain it for, like, 20 minutes just trying to, you know, explain it. And I just... It's it's unneeded. And that whole one-minute video over that NASCAR.com or whatever post is just, like, how it works. It's like... It, there's there's way more to it than it meets the eye. And it's stupid. And also, it makes me lose fucking respect for the people that came up with this idea. Or the ones that were even at that stupid conference. So, in a fucked up way, I lose respect for Junior, my favorite driver. Brad, who... I lost a little bit of respect because of the stupid fucking all-star format he brought up last year. That was the dumbest freaking mess ever. And I also lose respect for Denny and whoever the hell was else also there at that freaking conference that day. Because they're going to sit here and say that they enjoy it. Like, Junior, of all people, loves old school racing and loves the, you know, old racing and everything. So, I mean, for him to agree with this, that completely throws out normal traditional racing out the fucking window, then how can I trust anything he says now? Like, I lose a lot of respect for him for that. And now it's like, who the fuck do I have else left to root? Chase Elliott, I guess? I, I, or Kyle Larson? I, I mean, that that might be it. I, I, I don't know. Just... I don't know. It's just it's very frustrating to uh, watch this uh, the series I used to enjoy so much just fucking fall apart and fall from grace so goddamn hard. I don't know, it's just, it's just really sad, and it's just a shame to see it go and the route it's going, because last season was fine, like, in terms of just general racing with the lower downforce, most of the races were pretty, you know, solid, I mean, not all of them were, you know, 10 out of 10s, but they were such a step up from 2015 and 14 that it, it's not even a contest, it's 100% better, like, and for them to do this and everything, it's like, it, it's just sad because we're never going to see long green flag runs, we're never going to see just simple understanding fucking points. Like, I just wish they can just go back to the days where it was simple and easy to fucking understand. Just clear-cut, you know, simple, guy with the most points wins the championship. That's it. I 
can't fucking stand the stupid con uh, this conception of oh when when people bring up that point it's like oh we want them to go back to the good old days people because I see this on asker.com stuff and I normally don't comment or anything I just kind of like look at it and stuff because it's there's no point in getting into arguments with people that don't even know what the fuck they're talking about and also that's like the same group where they're just like somebody shared a picture or something on that on the NASCAR, doc, uh, NASCAR, NASCAR Facebook page and you're like what picture is this from and it has like Gordon Kenny Wallace and some other car and they're like 2005 and it's like clearly like from like the early 2000s like it's fucking stupid but whenever you mention like you know they want to go back to the old days everybody's just thinking like oh you want the champion to win by two months and have everybody lap the field and and it's like no like if that's not I mean that's not the case that's not what people are saying i think what most people meant that they want to go back to the you know the good old days in the sense where it's just you know 2003 on back where the racing and everything was more clear-cut straightforward and a lot of things were simple in the sense of just how things were and i'm not going to sit here and say that every rule change and and all that was perfect like there are some rule changes i do legitimately like like um oh my god like the double, you know, going below the L line rule. I understand that purpose. That is totally fine. I think that's an okay rule to have. I have no problems with that rule change. And also having the the race, you know, when a caution comes out, it freezes the field. I don't mind that. I don't mind that whatsoever. Because it, it is a safety hazard having them race back to the line or some kind of accident. Because that it, it was bound to be something terrible. I don't know, but that rule change, I don't mind. The lucky dog rule, I don't mind. Like, there's some changes I don't mind. Like, those three right there right off the bat are rule changes that I do not mind. But the stupid overtime rule, uh, the, the green-white checkers being inconsistent as fuck, and... All, it, it's it's just... It, oh, my God. It's just... It's a mess. You can go on and on and on of times where there was a caution where there shouldn't have been, where there, where there, where there wasn't a caution there should have been. Like, it's it's so inconsistent. It's, it's just... It's mind-boggling. Like... I don't even want to go into it. You could probably watch NASCAR Nixon's on NASCAR Inconsistency and BS uh, video for that just to get a, a taste. But it's just... Yeah, but it, the thing is, like... I don't know. It's just so annoying when people always bring it up. It's like, oh, you want them to win a championship by two months and have everybody lap the field. And it's like, this isn't 1970s. Like, like, this is not 1970s, 1960s. Like, I mean, yeah, it happened. But here's the thing, I'd rather have that because that is more of an authentic race than having random phantom debris cautions, these segmented fucking races, and all this sort of nonsense. Like, i rather enjoy that. And I'm sorry that maybe not every race is going to be fucking overdramatic, exciting bullshit, because that's not what racing is 100% of the time. That's not every single race. What makes races unique, at least to me, is when it's, when it's rare, when it doesn't happen that often. Like, you know, back in the day and stuff, or at least even, you know, before, you know, the you know, Sprint Cup Series, or look at the 2000, or look at the 1990, uh, 1992 championship, how, you know, how that turned out. It just naturally happened over that course of the season, and it provided a great championship run. Or just other races or years, an example, where there was a very close tight points battle, like 1990, 1999, I believe. Um, I was going to say 2002. Well, I guess 2002, kind of. Not every year needs to be a super close tight points battle. Like, I, I rather have a true, honest champion that, hell, if he wins a championship a, a week or two before Homestead, fine. It's not, it, I know, it's not exciting, but you know what? The, the guy deserves it. Kenseth in 2003, he absolutely deserved it. He doesn't need some sort of chase format or anything to blow it out the window and completely ruin it. He deserves it. Like, this whole thing is just a broken-ass mess. It's been like that since 2004, and it's only gotten worse with the stupid um, winning your in bullshit and now this kind of stuff. I mean, it's been such a slow downward decline. At least back then, you know, or at least 2004, it's just like every race mattered. And it just, it was simple. It was still simple. Like, you know, top 10 points and you're in. That's it. There's no wins and implications, bonus points that can get added on to that that can add you in. Like... It's just, it was simple enough. 2004, 2007 format was simple enough. It was a change. I didn't like it, but I can at least swallow that more because it was simple and understanding. Though it is kind of, unne it's unnecessary. I didn't, I never liked it, but I can, I can stomach that more than this shit from, from now all the way to 2014. Like, 
that's just my opinion. But I know I'm going off a tangent and different things, but I, some of this stuff I just need to stop, uh, talk about and everything because all this is just it just makes this this whole series just, just freaking just sad. And sometimes you know from time to time I'm getting comments you know through, like sometimes in my every win videos where they're just like you know Ryan Newman won eight races. How did he not win the championship in 2003? And it's like are, are people being born and raised into like this chase era? Am I just getting old now and seeing that or? Or, or what because wins don't automatically equate to a championship wins help but consistency should matter the most but I don't freaking know it's just it's just it, it just blows my mind because like to me I never saw like winning like hell Ryan Newman won eight eight races but a lot of them were either fuel strategy and races when he doesn't win either he was like inconsistent or something like that but matter of the fact is he wasn't consistent enough to win the championship all season long you can have 10 wins but then have 10 dnfs like does that mean he should have being the champ you know be the champion because he has 10 wins like no i mean he doesn't earn it because he had 10 dnfs and was inconsistent from race to race but had you know so it just it always just blows my mind because like you know tony stewart had six races in 2000 he didn't win the championship 2001 i believe goran did have the most wins he had six and won a championship because Besides those races Gordon won, he was super damn consistent. 2002, Stewart won the championship, but he only had three wins. Matt Kenseth had the most with five. Newman with eight and 03. Jimmy Johnson with uh, eight wins in 2004. Narrowly missed the championship, but it wouldn't have mattered anyways if we're going by the old system because Jimmy still won the one. Um, 2005, I believe Stewart had the most wins and did win the championship. Not every year. I mean, it happens. It definitely happens, but not every single year. 2006, Casey Kane won the most races, I believe, and he did not win a championship. 2007, Jimmy did win a championship. He had 10 wins. 2008, I believe Edwards had the most wins but didn't win the championship. 2009, it could have been Jesus Christ. Maybe Jimmy? I don't freaking remember. I Honestly, I really don't. But I, my, my obviously my point is not every single year the champion with, like, you know, the driver with the most wins is equated to being a champion. That's never been the case. You can even look back in older races and everything. Because it's just, it's just not the case. Like Mark, or, eh. I don't know. That's just, um, that's just my thoughts. I don't know. It's just, it just, just it just gives me a headache trying to think about it. Because it just, it, 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 this series turns into such a just a big convoluted, confusing mess that this off season's providing, and just the rule change they're having, and the stupid segments and everything. Because the only thing that that's good that came out of it is, oh, there's no caution clock anymore. But it's like. Yeah, there's no caution clock, but these new segments are kind of like the caution clock. So there's it. It's just a different. It's the caution clock, but renamed and re reworked a bit. That's basically <laughs> what it fucking is, essentially. And if they never, it's like the thing is like I'll be okay with segments if it was like they didn't throw the yell like you know once the you know once they reach a certain amount of laps, that's the amount of points they'll get, and then they'll keep going. Not the stopping and taking. This is fucking stupid because when they were announcing it, they were just like, "Oh no, we're gonna stop the race. We'll take a break." And it's like people can go get their snackies and go to the bathroom. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, this is such a fucking joke. It's so fucking stupid. Like, what are they? Are we? Are they just gonna get out of the car, take a stretch, and everything? It's like, oh my god, phew, swiping, you know, so the sweat after four. Oh my god, that was so difficult for like, uh, for like twenty five percent of that race. That so, ooh. Can't handle that endurance. I mean, fucking stupid. It's so dumb. Oh my god, it's so dumb. I don't even know what more to say about it. Honestly, I'm just gonna keep repeating myself. But it's just a big convoluted fucking mess. It it really is. So it it. I don't know. I'm done. I, mean, I got nothing more to add. I just want to get that out. If you enjoyed listening to me ramble for almost 20 minutes or so, um, hope you enjoyed. I guess I don't know, but. That's uh, that's my thoughts on that, and probably any other random things I I probably said, but I don't know. I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.